Here's a project I started on, I don't know, two or three years ago. Needed a Dremel, needed a four inch angle grinder, needed a big fat half inch end mill. This is a piece of, um, it somehow resembles Unistrut, but it's stainless steel. So, let me show you. Some of you are going to guess this instantly. There. That's what it's for. Right there. And this will hold, I think it's 13 of them. And I only owe t I only own ten, so now all I got to do is hook it up to the wall. So far, these holes here and here are the same distance apart as the studs, center to center. So somebody somebody had an idea for this a long time ago. Now you see this is a lot wider than the back of the slot. This part was put in already. I put the narrower part in the back, the half inch part, to hang these from. And yeah, it's a little bit of a disaster, but you know what? It's work. It'll work and it'll be strong and I'll be really happy about it. So, uh, it did it. I haven't worked on anything on this mill in uh, a couple of years. And this project has been sitting here undone and I just felt a little bit like doing it today so I did it and I've ruined a couple end mills doing it they were used but they're still not something you want to ruin maliciously but it was worth it so there you go it's beautiful it's strong there was a guy on Facebook Marketplace that made one of these, not out of uh, Unistrut, but he bent it himself. Uh, obviously he's a machinist because his work was impeccable. And he sold them all. He had, I don't know, a couple dozen maybe. And I really wanted one, but just didn't have the money for it. So, it's money or time. You know how that goes, right? So, he, uh, he ran out of them and I said, you know what? I think I'm going to do one of these myself. It's not perfect, but you know what? When all these tools are hanging from it, all these vice grips that I have, it'll be, um, it'll be absolutely worth it. So, next thing is to figure out where to hang it. Um, I was thinking maybe hang it on the front of the hammer rack. Okay. I could. It won't fit. These two studs right here are a little narrow for some reason. But the two next to it are the perfect spacing. So I don't know. I guess I could nail it up to there. Maybe put it on the 2x4 up higher. I know there's a few choices. There's some downside. If you hang it on the 2x4, the... Um, if you hang it down low enough, then the uh, vice grips don't hit anything. So hanging them takes a little bit of uh, you got a, a little bit of foresight. To make sure that the vice grips aren't hitting anything. So, oh, I thought about hanging it on the front here, but every time you want to reach down and grab some junk, you might be banging your head into stuff. So, um, one side note: I'm just going to deviate for a second. A friend of mine sold me that toolbox um, 40 years ago, and the uh, drawers wouldn't open. So me and the neighbor figured out how to open it. We got the drawers open, and I thought my body hammer would be in there, and it was not. That was yesterday's excursion. So anyway. So back to the uh, whole reason this video exists is... Um, you know, you can make this out of almost anything. I mean, stainless is ridiculous, but that's this is a piece I got from a, um, oh, where did I get it? Anyway, um, here's some of the chunks. 
The best way I found to do this was to take the angle grinder and cut most rough it out with the angle grinder and then use the end mill to finish it and that sped things up tremendously. Um, it, it ate that, that disc right there that's so small was brand new when I started earlier today. So that um, tells you how much work it had to do. Plus I use the disc for deburring the edges and stuff. You don't want to slide a vice grip on here and then slice your hand open. That would just be bad. So anyway, next step is um, I've got three vice grip openings left on this thing, which is kind of unusual. As we learned with the hammer rack, I had way more hammers than I ever envisioned having in my life. And uh, part of that's when I moved here, I'd stop by the flea market and anybody that had hammers or putty knives for sale, I bought everything they had. Most of the time it was a buck, 50 cents, and it just paid off because there was three of us doing all the work and if we lost a tool or didn't care, I'd just go get another one. So um, I don't have any more vice grips hidden away as far as I know. <laughs> but you know, if you stop by a store, maybe I'll buy a couple. But uh, yeah, so it's beautiful, it's big, it's heavy duty, and um, you know, one of these days I'm going to get a toolbox of my dreams, a huge one, and then I can put all this stuff inside, but in the meantime, you know, you do things like that. You hang it up on pegboard, you hang it, you know, however you can, so you can find it again. And I'd, I'd like to do a better job, but right now that's just not in the cards. So. Um, Anyway, I will uh, figure out where to mount this, you know, lag screws, uh, whatever, bolt it up to the wall, and then hang. Oh, yeah. Did I, did I miss this part? A couple of ice grips right here, and they're scattered all over the floor, because that's what you do if you're me. You take stuff, and you put it together. Now, that's sloppy. I can admit that. But it's all together. It's all in the same place. And that's how you keep from losing it completely. Now you can trip on it and, you know, stuff like that. It's in the way if you want to get something else out of the way. So that's part of why I built this. I want all of those out of the way and up so I can just glance at them and say, okay, there it is, and boom, put it to use and get to it. So I'll go through my toolboxes and see if I've got one stashed away. But I don't think I do. I think they're all right here. I don't even think there's anybody in that old box right there that I've also had for 40 years. Anyway, um, it was a great project. I'm glad I did it. Um, and that'll be nice to have that. It's just a tiny mess. It's not huge. But it'll be out of the way. Alright, next time I, uh, I figure out how to mount this thing, I will shoot video of that and you'll see what the end result was. Thanks, see you, bye. Well, there's the vice grip rack completed and installed. Look at that. Still got one, two, three slots left open. And uh, there's 13, so I must have 10 up there right now. Man, they hang nice. See there? Holy cow, what a, what a joy. Now there's not a big pile of them on the floor anymore. And let me tell you what, that, that matters. So, if I run across any more, um, I will have to hang them up. But I don't know where any more are. This is every one I've owned, or ever owned. Uh, yeah. So anyway, um, that was a real mother to machine, those slots in there. It was a mother, I can tell you honestly. And that is just, if you care, it's a washer holding up the, uh, the mount to the studs. It's a washer and a drywall screw. Um, could have gone more complicated, but I just wanted to get it up, and it's, it's uptight. It's not going anywhere, ever. Um, anyway, I think that's beautiful. Now we've got the hammer rack with one more hammer to repair and one more hammer to find. My body hammer from the 70s, I don't know where it's at. And there's the rack. 
beautiful beautiful so anyway it's done it's up it was piled on the floor right here huge pile of ice grips a dumb place to put it but that's where I put them so anyway I love it good, good to have things done around here got that piece of stainless uh, at uh, at a what's it called an estate sale there we go and uh, somebody had already started this and I finished it it was about 20 percent done now I added the other 80 percent and we're good and they're out of the way and I can see them from a mile away all right enough rambling see you bye